What is up everyone? Welcome back to New Brickerton. My name is Michael and this is my Lego City update for September 2021. It's been a minute since I've made a video. It's been a busy summer, but I've got a lot to show you. I've got a lot to tell you about. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump in. So this is the first full look you've gotten of the Lego City layout since I built this new table specifically for the city to live on back in May of this year. I'm gonna take you through the entire city, piece by piece. I'm gonna tell you what I've been working on and what I'm planning to do in the future. So, the biggest thing for this video, and the largest improvement to the city, undoubtedly, since we've last spoken, is the addition of my very first modular building. This is where everyone can applaud. My girlfriend Abby got me the bookshop for my birthday, which is an absolutely amazing gift and an absolutely dangerous gift, as I now understand the sheer wonder of these buildings, the details, the look of it, the building techniques. Oh my God, it was so satisfying to put this thing together. And I say dangerous because I'm sure now I'll be looking out for my next modular building sometime in the near future. I'm sure of that, but man, this thing is just absolutely beautiful. And uh, placing this in our city has kind of allowed us to restructure things a little bit. I've moved the blue townhouse and toy shop creator buildings across the city and moved the new modular building into this section. One thing that this has allowed us to do is create a line of buildings that look fairly decent on both the front and the back side. And I'm very excited about this first block here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move through the entire city from the left to the right. I'm gonna give you a full tour of the city as it stands and tell you about some of our changes. We're gonna to switch to a voiceover now. Let's go ahead and get this tour started. So starting with the back left section of the city, we've got the forest area of the Hogwarts grounds, which you've all seen before. The city roads begin here. We've got the fashion shop next to the backside of the Lego bookshop. And we've got some people hanging out there. This leads us up to the Lego creator pet shop and cafe, which makes an excellent looking corner building here. Going around the corner, we will reach the first intersection where if the car continues straight, it'll go right past our new Brickerton town plaza which I've widened, I've added sidewalk tiling to it, and finally we're starting to add some details to our city. So you'll notice that we have a park bench, a trash can, some trees, street lights, and stoplights, and we've even got a bike rack that I've created here where residents are able to rent bikes to ride around the town. On the corner next to the pet shop, beside the ATM, I've placed the Brick City newsstand, which also has a refrigerator full of drinks, some snacks, and even a newspaper that citizens can purchase. This is one of my favorite pieces of the city so far. I actually got this newsstand from Brickloot. The custom printed stickers, including the COVID-19 newspaper, are just awesome, and I really like having this on the corner of this block of the city. So going down this side of the street here, we've got the Friends Central Perk set in a modular form. Then we've got the bookshop, modular building, followed by another little custom set I've modified here. I actually had the chance earlier this summer to visit the Minifig Shop, which is a secondhand Lego store near St. Louis, Missouri. I was able to pick up some older sets and a few minifigs from my collection, so here's a quick look at what I got. I used to be a huge Overwatch fan, but I missed out on the Overwatch Lego sets, so I was super excited to pick up this Dorado Showdown set. There's not a whole lot to the building that they give you, but I was able to add an interior to the building with an ATM, a jewelry kiosk, but I hope to modify this even further later on. So this takes us up to our Hogwarts campus. Not much has changed here besides some slight modifications to the building layout. This is another section I haven't been able to tile out or add much detail to yet, so I hope to get there sometime soon. Now, next to Hogwarts, I've placed my Avengers Tower with a completely custom base. I made a video all about this build, so if you wanna check that out, uh, click in the top right of your screen or the link will also be in the description of this video. Overall, I'm super happy with how this building is looking so far. Next to the Avengers Tower, we've got the teeny weeny little police station. Uh, this part may change, but I'm using it to store all of my police vehicles right now. So we'll take a step back now, go back along this row of buildings in the second block here. We've got all the variations of the townhouse and toy shop Lego creator sets, including the bakery and the flower shop, and they all have that lovely uh, teal color. Um, so I think it gives a little bit of cohesion to this section of the city. Going around the corner here, we've got the Lego store and the Lego City family house. 
The top of the Lego City family house is a bit exposed, so we may eventually move that and uh, may adjust some more of this block, but I think it looks okay so far. At the end of this section of the street, we've got the Lego fire station. Now this fire station is a little bit interesting in that it has a garage and also a dock for boats, which makes it natural for the beginning of our water section, New Brickerton Harbor. So we've got a fire boat here, which I got from a different set. Eventually I wanna build out this little boardwalk area here. We'll move up the street a little bit. You'll see an ice cream shop I created out of the parts for the Lego ice cream truck. We've got the skate park, which is situated right across the street from our residential area, which gives easy access for all the kiddos to uh, come rip up the skate park and then finish up with a nice dip in the water with easy beach access. So back here in this beach area, we've got the surf house. We've also got the hidden side lighthouse with some various boats scattered around the harbor, but this is definitely an area I need to put a little bit more work into. So there's been a lot of new additions in this update. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite addition was and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss out on future LEGO City updates. All right, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed that tour. I hope to have some new videos coming soon. Until then, I will catch you in the next one. Peace. Oh my god, they're showing the horrors of the meat industry. The livestock. That's so cool. Oh, the dogs are in love.